And that's a bird. Hey guys, Kolok here, and I'm gonna be doing a bad Beyblade battle between Lightning El Drago D125F, I think that's the one Cyclone Herculeo has, between Ray Unicorno or Ray Striker D125 CS, which stands for um, Coach Shark. And long ago, I used to think that Unicorno was actually Unicornio. I have no idea why, but I just did three, two, one, let it. And now it's really gonna start in three, two, one. Let it. And so far, El Drago is defeating. Let's get into the battle more detailed. And I've noticed how some of my videos have blackouts. I am so sorry that they have blackouts. I don't know, it's... It's never happened. Like, it's happened before, but... On one of my old cameras that it takes forever to load, like, five hours, it never had blackouts, and it can, you know, it was good. So, yeah. First round goes to Lightning El Drago. Second round. Three, and it's going to be the best out of three. Three, two, one, let it rip. Actually, wow. That was amazing. Let's see if El Drago has anything else. Nothing? Okay, so El Drago wins this match again. Let's go one more time. Three. Two, one, let it. Oh, wow. That was actually one of the best attacks I actually ever seen El Drago do. Actually, yeah, so Lightning El Drago takes the win, and Ray Striker loses this round. The only best thing is, because, like, earlier today, I launched El Drago right at Striker. Like, I launched it, he hit Striker, and they both flew out. And it was pretty sweet. But anyways, um, let's get on to the Beyblade alert. Beyblade alert. And whenever I have a Beyblade alert, I have to show you something that's very sacred or something that's so true. Okay. See this purple piece? I'm going to drop it into the center of the stadium. You'll see why. Okay, see this purple piece belongs to Cap Storm Capricorn. Okay, and as you see, if you unscrew the M145 or M125, it has this piece, which technically controls the way it bounces. But now, it, it kind of shaky and it moves around freely. So his bounces are more frequent and more... Um, crazy. I'll show you what I mean right now. Let me just launch him. Three, two, two, one. Let it. If El Drago wins, I mean, if, uh, if Storm Capricorn wins this, I'm going to be very surprised. Storm Capricorn is still bad, but hey, who cares, you know? This, uh, Dark Dasher wins. But anyways, that has been the Beyblade alert for today. Round two will begin with Gravity Gravity Perseus. AD 145WD, or known as Gravity Destroyer, versus Galaxy Pegasus. I don't know what other names are for Galaxy, but Galaxy Pegasus, um, 105 the second. R F the second, which is rubber flat the second. So, anyways, um, let's get to the battle. And um, real quickly, just to point this out for a minute, um, when you saw that Prototech video, if you didn't see the Prototech video, watch it right now. So yeah, but anyways, um, real quickly, 
This is the prototech that I was saying of Gravity Destroyer. It's just all these pieces. And when you launch it, let me just launch it. You put it down here and then... There you go. So that's how in the video you saw the Gravity Destroyer. So if you were like, whoa, how did he make that? All rights goes to Hasbro and everything. You guys know that. And no, I wasn't trying to make this like my official Beyblade. No, I didn't make it. I was just showing you an extra idea I made. So if you want to play like that with another friend, you can just put it there with another person. And then you can have Gravity Destroyer and pretty much anybody you want. I recommend, I try to use Flame Bixis. He's almost impossible to use. He's hard, like really hard. But anyways, let's get to the battle. In the red corner, there's Gravity Perseus slash Destroyer, Armor Defense 145 WD. And um, I'm going to keep them not in like where the eyes are showing, these three eyes, like for the Medusa. I'm just making it in the empty spot. And he will be spinning to the right. And in the blue corner, there is Galaxy Pegasus 105 to seconds, Rubber Flat to second. So I'm going to be launching Gravity to Destroyer to the right. Then after that, I'm going to um, turn him to his Medusa form with the left launcher. Three, two, one, let it. Three, two, one, let it. So far, the battle's getting pretty good. Let's get a little into it. There we go. Pegasus is just circling around. Not making a lot of good moves, but hey, he's still attacking. And actually, Destroyer's being sort of the punching bag. And right now, he's actually being very weak right now. I can't believe it. The winner is Galaxy Pegasus for the first for the first half. You know, Gravity Destroyer lost. Time to chain him to the left. Right now, I think he he's in his Medusa, and I think this is his counter form. The other one was his defense. But um, right now, this is a launcher I use for all Drago. So I will never use this for Gravity Perseus or Destroyer. I'll only use this black one. So let's get to the battle. Three, two, one. Let it. Three. He's actually more calmer. Oh, wow. Wow. That was pretty cool. Galaxy Pegasus wins. Usually when I used to battle with these guys, Gravity Destroyer would always pwn Pegasus. Something's very wrong here, but whatever. I'll just take that. Now let me turn him back to his, um, using the left launcher, but in his original form. Okay, so I'm back. This is Gravity Destroyer. His Medusa's eyes are fading that way. Sorry if you hear the barking. That's my dogs. And we'll, we'll begin the second final round in three, two, one. Let it Okay, so Pegasus is attacking. Whoa! I was gonna say if Destroyer won this battle, I'd give him three extra points. Wow. Wow. Jeez, that's a fail. Destroyer has just stopped, and Galaxy is still spinning, so... Good, congratulations, Galaxy Pegasus. You're moving to the final round. The final match will now begin. The match will pit against the two strongest Beyblades that I've made it so far in this little mini competition. And the, fr and the first one in the red, I'm just announcing the last winner. The last winner in the red team was Galaxy Pegasus Wings 105 the second, Rubber Flat the second, against Lightning El Drago um, Defense 125 Flat, that I do believe is on Cyclone Herculeo. So, let's get to the battle. And, yeah, let's rev it up. Three, two, one. Let it rip. And, I get the late timing. Wow. That was actually pretty cool. So, um, the first round, El Drago wins. No matter what the obstacles are, El Drago always seems to amuse me. So, that's why Lightning El Drago is my favorite Beyblade. I like it more than Meteo and El Drago Destroyer. Heh. <laughs> so funny that they ripped the name off of, of Gravity Destroyer. Ha. Oh, three, two, one. Let it. 
Ah, the bait keeps falling. Wow. Whoa, that was actually pretty cool. See, just like El Drago's so sweet. Even if he looks like he's about to lose, he always comes back like stronger than ever. He's pretty sweet. That's why he's my favorite. Plus, I'm battling in his stadium where the lightning and all the magic happens. Well, it's not Disney Ram, so I can't really say that. Wow, that was a close call. Pegasus won that match. This is the final match to see who becomes crowned of the mini tournament of the lightning battle. Of the lightning rod battle. Three, two, one. Let it. Wow, actually, this is amazing. Let's get into this. I gotta stay back, cause just in case if any of them, like, just knock each other away. This is pretty good. Right now it's a close fight, so I'll just... Let's just get a little closer. I'm just following them wherever they go. If they stop at the same time, they will be given a... And who stopped? The winner is Lightning El Drago, Defense 125 Flat. Thank you for joining me on the Lightning Rod Battle. And I will see you next time on the next 